Have you ever wondered if pickles are a healthy food to eat? Well, in this video, we're gonna be talking about five facts so that you'll know for sure how pickles may benefit you. Konnichiwa, if we haven't met before, my name is Pat Tokuyama and I help people learn how to make plant-based Japanese food. If you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up now or before you finish watching it. It really helps my channel grow and reach more people just like you. And if you happen to be interested in more video cooking lessons as well as Japanese recipes, make sure to check out the link in the description for my training program. So what is otsukemono? Otsukemono is the Japanese word for Japanese pickles. Japanese pickles come in many different uh, flavors as well as forms, shapes, sizes, colors, etc. To illustrate, some of the simplest otsukemono or Japanese pickles tend to be made with very few ingredients namely the vegetable that you're going to be pickling as well as the seasoning which tends to be salt, shoyu or soy sauce, maybe vinegar or osu or something more complex and a little bit more labor intensive which would be nuka. Nuka is rice bran um, and those pickles have a special name and they're called nukazuke. And if you're new to Japanese cuisine, at least traditional Japanese cuisine, you might be wondering where in the heck does the otsukemono go in a Japanese meal? Fantastic question. So in part of washoku or traditional Japanese cuisine, uh, you'll tend to be served otsukemono uh, as part of a set meal. So usually they're gonna have a course of soup, uh, a bowl of rice, uh, usually three dishes, uh, maybe a main dish. It could be like a fish or some sort of, sort of a protein, uh, maybe some vegetables, and of course, the pickles or otsukemono. This is known as ichiju sansai or one soup, three dishes. So on your next trip to Japan, chances are if you're eating at a traditional Japanese restaurant, this is probably going to be a type of meal that you will encounter. And if you're lucky, you might not only get just one set of otsukemono, maybe two or three different types of otsukemono to make your meal that much more interesting and flavorful. So if you're a foodie like me, chances are you're going to love the opportunity to taste little bits and pieces of different vegetables, flavors, textures, while you're enjoying your traditional Japanese meal. So are you ready to talk about the five facts that I had mentioned at the very beginning of the video? Well, here we go without further ado, in no particular order, but because chances are that you love eating, you're a foodie just like me, you love eating as much as I do, you probably also like going kimchi. And so we're gonna be talking about the very first thing, which is dietary fiber. As you may know, there are two sources of dietary fiber available for humans to eat. One is going to be called soluble, the other is going to be called insoluble. And as far as otsukemono goes, uh, being composed primarily of vegetables as the main ingredients, you are going to be getting plenty of or soluble fiber. And if you eat a lot of fruit, fruit also has a natural source of soluble fiber which can be extracted or refined and that is known as pectin. Soluble fiber helps to absorb water. It's soluble in water, that hence the name soluble, and uh, it can help to improve your digestion when working with insoluble fiber as well as decreasing your cholesterol. So some of the benefits of eating soluble fiber from your otsukemono include uh, improved digestion because it works together with insoluble fiber to keep you regular as well as potentially decreasing your cholesterol and uh, helping you feel uh, a little bit more satiated or full. So the second fact about Japanese pickles otsukemono uh, or pickles in general is that they contain plenty of vitamins and minerals because they are made of vegetables and very few seasonings so they'll tend to be somewhat nutritious without adding too much calories uh, to your meal, especially when we're talking about uh, Japanese style pickles, and I guess many pickles in general, as long as you don't use too much oil. Anyways, the point of mentioning that they have plenty of vitamins and minerals, nutrients in them, is that you don't necessarily need to be taking supplements, do you? I guess that's a question for you. Maybe if your doctor said that you do, you might, but I prefer to get all of my uh, vitamins and minerals naturally, if possible, from the food that I eat. What about you? Let me know in the comments below. So the third fact about pickles, Japanese pickles or tsukemono, is that it is a not so sneaky way to get people to eat more vegetables. If for example, you have some kids or maybe somebody who doesn't necessarily like to be eating salads on the side or vegetables in general, perhaps if you make a few pickles, this will be one simple way to get them to eat more vegetables. Shh. It can be a very good palate cleanser. And palate cleansers, as you may know, if you have ever been to a restaurant where they serve 
a palate cleanser. For example, in a fine dining restaurant, in between courses, they will give you something that has a little bit of acidity, isn't too strong in flavor, is somewhat neutral um, to cleanse your palate. By cleansing your palate, you can certainly enjoy your next course much more so uh, without any, I guess, influence or leftover flavors that might be left over in your mouth. So another alternative, of course, instead of using Otsukemono as a palate cleanser is wine or alcohol, which also tends to cleanse your palate. Being an extra course or a side dish, uh, it's going to cause you to eat a little bit more mindfully. At least it works for me, so it may work for you and some other people as well. But when you're enjoying your food, uh, chances are if you have just one thing in front of you versus five to ten things in front of you, if you're having a very nice meal, you're going to take your time and enjoy each of those little dishes, each, each of those little flavors, and uh, try to enjoy that to the fullest. Um, as opposed to just... <laughs> trying to chew everything down really quickly, like an eating contest. So mindful eating can benefit you if you've ever had issues overeating, for example. I can say I've, I've done that before. Uh, maybe it can help to slow your eating, uh, be a little bit more conscious about the food that you're putting into your body, and uh, allow your body to tell you and catch up with your eating to say that, hey, I'm full. Onaka ippai. It also adds variety, of course, keeps things interesting, and uh, tends to bring out different flavors. Maybe you'll notice the contrast right, between certain dishes or certain uh, flavors in your meal, which is also an added benefit. So now you know five facts about pickles, Japanese pickles, tsukemono, as well as pickles in general. Um, curious, what stood out to you most? Let me know in the comments right now. Also, let me know if I missed anything. Share your comments in the comment section below. I'm, I'm sure I could learn something from you. We could all learn from each other. And if you're interested in learning more about making Japanese pickles or otsukemono, uh, check out the Otsukemono workshop linked in the description below as well. So now you know one aspect of washoku or traditional Japanese cuisine, also known as Otsukemono, Japanese pickles. And as you may know, Japanese cuisine is known to be healthy, which is not always true, but sometimes it is. And we're going to be talking about the healthy types of Japanese cuisine uh, today and in my next video. And if you're interested in learning about what that topic might be, it has to do with the rice. So check out the link in the description below if it's already out there or if it's not out yet or maybe if you're interested in between, check out the link or check out the video right here. So yeah, that video is going to be white rice versus brown rice. And which one is healthier? That's the question that we're going to be. We'll be talking about it and we're going to be answering it. Do you pickle? Pickle Rick. Do you know who Pickle Rick is? Pickle Rick. Pickle Rick. <laughs> Having trouble saying that Pickle Rick is one of my favorite characters on Rick and Morty, which is a pretty interesting cartoon. Pretty out there. Pretty far out there. Would you like a pickle?